Hey, Toby Barnett here. And today's video is not necessarily a home maintenance item. It's not preparing your home for sale item, but it's, you know, if you live in your house and you want to do an upgrade while you still live there, not an upgrade to sell, like, you know, people do flooring, countertops, etc. cetera, but you, you, when you live there, I highly recommend getting yourself a, a whole house AC unit or a whole house a, a, a heat pump or some mini splits. And the reason is that with the rising temperatures outside, it, it's harder and harder for our houses to cool down during the summertime. And that, you know, makes it tough for people to sleep. I know I get grouchy if it's way too hot and I can't fall asleep. I'm just irritated. So, uh, you know, our, our previous house, we put a heat pump in. And well, right when we moved into this one, I put a heat pump in it as well. And being this 92 degrees outside right now here in the shade, the interior of the house is a nice, cool 74. And we get the benefits of just being able to reprieve when we go in. So th there's a lot of companies out there that install them. You could go through Costco, some local ones. I recommend airductors.net. And they've, they've done this one and our previous one. Really happy with their service. And it really just, you know, invest into it. Enjoy it. Get rid of those little mini wall heaters or... Uh, AC units or the freestanding ones taking up space in your home and invest the money in something that's going to take the, make the whole house comfortable. And it should also be noted that when we go to work, we do not turn off the AC in the house. We leave the house running its consistent temperature. And, and people will argue all day long that they're saving money because they're not AC in their house. You know, frankly, I think that's BS because we've noticed no really increase in our uh, PUD bills and the heat pump doesn't have to work twice as hard to chill the house out when you get home from work. Your house is already 74. It works less by keeping it on all the time and you're not burning it up because you want to try to save like three dollars and in when it's 92 degrees outside and you come home your house is 98 and you want to chill it down to 68. Man that's that's you know that's 30 degree swing. You know, that heat pump will, you know, burn itself up. So set it and forget it. Set your temperature where you like it in the house. Let the heat pump do and the AC do the work for you. And you'll be amazed on how much you enjoy your house, how much you enjoy actually being outside in the hotter temperatures. Because when you go inside, immediately cooled off. It is, if you never had it, get it. You're going to be amazed. I will never go back. And this is our second one. And it's just been the best thing I could ever have done to any one of the houses right off the get go. You know, I would, I would forego a kitchen to have one of these. I'll just be on the barbecue and grilling to pay for one of these instead of getting new countertops, new cabinets and all that kind of stuff that, cause that can come later. Get this first. Don't wait to start enjoying air conditioning in your house. You have it in your car, get it in your house. You'll, you'll be happy, you know, because like, you know, when it's hot outside in, you know, when, before I had it, I get pretty grouchy when I would, you know, go to sleep. You know, because I couldn't sleep because I'm sweating profusely in the bed and adding the AC in there just takes it all off. We notice everybody's less grouchy in the house, you know, because it's just everybody's cooler. Um, so, it, you know, thanks for tuning into this one. I don't know if it's going to be in a new series or I'll just lump it together in another playlist. But thanks for tuning in to this video about heat pumps and AC. And again, I highly recommend getting it. So thanks for tuning into this video and we'll see you on the next one.